What's poppin' homies, it's your boy Nitty. Yo, right now I'm in the car, I'm at Chick-fil-A. My son, iPad is really loud, let's slow that down real quick. And hey, I'm gonna do my intro, okay? All right, yo, right now we about to head to Gainesville, about to go to the mall, um, had a few errands I had to run, so I was like, yo, why not, man? Let's make a day out of it. And I'm also gonna go to the Nike outlet. So when you're watching this, you probably may see a, a mall vlog, maybe not, or you may just see a Nike outlet. Maybe not. Maybe I might combine the two. Depends on how much content I'm able to record at both locations. But anyways, man, about me keep rambling. I'll see y'all at the mall, possibly Dalit. One of those two. All right, see y'all in a bit. Peace. Only size 11. And a tenement. Just pull up to the Nike Alley in Gainesville. Bro, um, so I went to the mall. I really didn't recall record much because uh, every store I went into had the same old stuff that y'all previously seen. Nothing special. They had the Air Jordan 6 infrared just sitting. They were sitting in Foot Locker. They was also sitting, well, multiple things were sitting in Foot Locker. Not only that, they also had the Air Jordan 1 neutral grays and the turbo green sitting, just readily available. Um, also, the uh, Sports Illustrated, Rookie of the Years. Then I went to uh, finish line, pulled up there, saw him sitting on the end cap outside, infrared sixes, and then also at Champs, the infrared sixes. The biggest size they had was 11, so they were available for smaller foot sizes. But anyways, man, we outside. Nike outlet, we about to go inside and see what we find. I'm not sure what to expect. Yo, they got a lot of good stuff in here, bro. Of course, apparel. Let me show y'all a few things, man. Check it out. Gator t-shirt. Gator tank top. Gator hoodie. More Gator hoodies. Even the logo joint. Look at the end cap. Nothing but slides so far, man. You got some SBs. SBs. <laughs> uh, you got some Kobe's. More Kobe's. You got the canary yellow Kobe's, the big birds, uh, 140. So we on the hash wall, man. We found a few shoes that's very affordable, like $29 for these joints. What are they call These joints with the air unit, Air Max Modern Essentials. Hash though. So LeBron soldiers in that orange and what are these? Just ons? No, I like to see Size 15 though, three one twos. They got some Air Max 95s. I thought this was all over print, but they're not. What are they going for? Probably retail because there's no price on them. But guess what else I saw though, man. Y'all won't believe what I saw in here. These joints. <laughs> the Paul George 3 NASA's, man. Size 12. My size. That's crazy, right? They got the PGs in here. Somebody returned them. They're not hitting for much on StockX. So I could see somebody trying to flip this and couldn't. So they returned them. I think I see the the equalities too, man. Let me double check. Are these equalities? Yes, they are. So I return these joints too as well. Size 11 and a half, yep. They ain't hitting for much either other than retail. So my outlet review today is gonna be these equality joints, these LeBron 15s. Excuse me, I mean 16s. Equality on the outsole, translucent outsole as well. Zoom bags, or maybe they're air unit bags. I'm not even sure. I think it's Zoom, Zoom Air. You got the battle net upper. Similar to fly net, but supposed to be more sturdy um, and more rugged. Uh, you do have flat laces, and it's like a sock booty as well. Equality also in the insole, pull tab on the back with a Nike swoosh on the back heel. The air unit is visible on both sides. Back heel, that shows equality split up. And that's pretty much it, man. So that is the right shoe. Let's take a look at the left. So one of the fundamental differences, the right shoe is black. The left shoe is all white, but it's gonna have similar uh, details as the right shoe. Equality on the outsole, translucent outsole, ear zoom unit, full length, swoosh on the heel. Equality on the back heel with the pull tab. Full booty sock, flat laces, Battle knit upper and it's in white. And here's both of them. Actually, I might just try these on, man. See how comfortable they are. What's good, man? 
How you been, bro? I hear you, I hear you. Yo, these are comfortable. The Bronze 16 qualities, well, doesn't even matter whether they're qualities or not, but the model itself is comfortable, man. You can feel the zoom unit, forefoot and back heel. Actually a dope shoe, battle net upper, very comfortable. This is the left shoe, this is the right shoe. Can't go wrong, man. They're going for a retail gang though, so if you're in the games with Outlet looking for a pair, if you didn't get your pair day one, they're available. Probably available and also your foot traffic sites, who knows? I'm not. I don't follow LeBron and his signature shoe as much as I should having his channel like this, but no gripes, no quarrels about this shoe. Actually dope, comfortable shoe. Could be a good ball and shoe, man. So I get this the Nike outlet approval for the price. Well, I don't know about the price. I think it's retail game. Ironically, I got these, but I never tried them on, man. So I'm gonna try these pairs on, <laughs> even though I got a pair at home. Let's see what they feel like on feet. Okay, not bad so far. This, the right size lace. Boom, got both of them on feet. Not a bad shoe, man. Very comfortable, too, man. The Nassau PG3s. But anyways, man, we about to continue with this Nike outlet vlog. I'm gonna show you the rest of the shoes in here. All right, stay tuned. I'll take these shoes off. Yo, look what else I found, bro. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. These are my shoes, bro. So I didn't expect to do a Nike outlet vlog today. I was throwing the trash away, and I was like, yo, why not pull up to Gainesville? So here I am. <laughs> but anyways, man, let's go and see what else they got. Got some Hirachi's camo print. Yeah, I like this colorway, man. More of like a old school look, $90. Then you got these Roshis that no one really cares for. Moving along, Roshi Roshis. Then we put up to these pennies. Air Max penny, $99. Then you got the Ear Shakes and Destructs. And you, yeah, hard pack. Oh, oh, wow, 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 wow. Okay. All right, you got the Air Safari's Quick Strike for $75. Not mad at the shoe. You know I like all black shoes. $55 for this Air Max Prime. $55, rather. Here you go, man. You're seeing these Pure Platinums for 114 Multiple sizes in the youth. I'm get you some, man. I'm get you some. Readily available and a good amount of quantity. Women's section. Youth and women, rather. $50 for these. We see these everywhere. Yeah, I saw these in... The Tampa outlet the other day, multiple sizes, but it was in men though. But it's not a bad price, $55. And that's pretty much it. Oh wow, you got this big old swoosh. What is this, man? A pre-love ox for $34. Not a bad colorway. I like the oversized swoosh. What women's Nike pre-love ox. Okay. Got the Air Max 90s all red joints for $60. Also like this colorway of the 270 with a sprite outsole. I'll call that the Sprite out, so. So more 2017s, more 270s, more 270s, and even more 270s, but these are the Air Force 270s. We have 12s on the very top. What size is this, though? Look kind of huge, look like probably my size. Size 11 and a half, man. But they're going for retail gang, though. A lot of y'all asked me more about this sweater, man, where I got mine from. Got mine from a Nike outlet. These are going here for $44, as you can tell. 
um, but I did pay a lot cheaper than mine because I got it at the clearance store some months back. It was sometime last year, man, but they got multiple sizes. Extra large, small, medium, large, and extra large. They're fire, though. I like them. Here's that Gator gear I've been telling y'all about. Jordan Gator gear, number one. Another jersey. These 95s, like these, the olive and orange. Retail gang. KDs, the 11s. Yep, retail gang. Oh, more Colby's. AD BM 109. Not sure what BM stands for. Rainforest ones. Yo, this is going to conclude this Nike outlet vlog. It was supposed to be a mall vlog, which would have been separate, but I didn't get a chance to really record in the mall. There really wasn't much popping. Um, like I said, those UNC. What the hell am I saying, bro? Ugh. It wasn't much to record in the mall. Those um, Air Jordan 6 infrareds are readily available. Uh, in the Nike outlet, we saw those platinum, the pure plat platinum 11s. There was readily available. A lot of stuff probably that you would see in your normal uh, mall. Uh, like the Air Jordan 1s, uh, the neutral grays, the turbo greens, and the rookie years. There was readily available at the Foot Locker. Anyone could have pulled up and cop. I saw a lot of Kobe's. But what was was unique was those Nassau PG3s. Typically, you probably won't see them in the outlet. Obviously, the purpose, if, if somebody got them in hand, they didn't like them or it was intentionally trying to flip them and they couldn't, so they returned them. Um, before I even left the store, there was a guy who actually picked up both the Equality and the PG3s, Nassau joints. Before I even left the store, he had them in hand. He was going to purchase those. But uh, there's no friends and family, so there's no additional discount, so I don't know. Maybe he won them. Uh, one was size 12. The PG was size 12. The equalities were 11 and a half. But anyways, man, rambling too much. I'm about to conclude it right here. Appreciate each and every single one of you guys for watching this video. If you're new to this channel and you like outlet vlogs and you like my commentary, whether it's good or bad, hilarious, do pull up, do hit that subscribe button, and do hit that notification bell as well so you know when I drop videos like this. Everyone else, including you subscribers, the new subscribers, please leave your comments down below and your boy get back to you as soon as possible. Until then, until we meet again, until I slow, slow, until I change my slogan, you already know what it is. Good to go. It's a wrap.